so guys am i audible to all of us am i crystal clear please guys let me know anyways good evening everyone and that's a great that you have spared some time for today's evening it's friday and i know 4 to 5 is the time where we want to spend out with our friends and those of you who have joined today's webinar that means that you guys are serious so when we are serious this means that half of the battle is won that means we are half away and we have already achieved accolade that we are concentrated and we know what we want so that's a good thing evening time and joining for the webinar today i'll be discussing about newspaper but it will be all about why to read newspaper for becoming an ias officer and if we need to read newspaper then how a little brief introduction about me my name is sherry asing and i'm working as senior editor in pearson also i am also i was an ias aspirant and I had been to interview twice, and in total four times I have written my mains examination. So now I am into how to help other people to make their goals realize as soon as possible. What should be the right strategy with which a person can become an IAS officer and as soon as possible, not by wasting three years, four years. You are realizing, oh, this is something which I had to do. So we'll do it quickly. We'll try to speed up our strategy so that. we can have our success rate at the early right so let's see what we are going to see in today's newspaper preparation why we should go for newspaper should we be going and if yes then how let's have a look so you must see that the basic thing of knowing something why are you reading whenever you do something in your life whenever you take any action it should not be propelled by it should not be backed by the outside factors outside factors for let's say i want to become an ias because some relative of mine my uncle ji some neighbor or somebody is becoming an ias and you see that pomp and gusto is associated with power and suddenly you are also you know full of it and i want to become an ias whereas your bent of mind your thinking process is not like that that you should become an is rather you should pursue some other goals right but we sometimes get you know occupied preoccupied by the thoughts that okay this is the only thing which i should do so my point over here is not to discourage you but i am trying to make you aware of very important thing is self awareness why am i doing it not because others are doing because i know i want to do it and this is my right strategy to approach it correct so significance of reading newspaper as you can see in front of you the slides is also there current oriented paper from 2013 with the change in the syllabus of main examination more weightage has been given to the current oriented part current affairs then newspaper reading does not mean that you are reading it you are holding it in your hand and no 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 you are reading it no it means that it's enhancing your skill your vocabulary your understanding of the expression because once you become an is officer or you join the services it's not everything will be given to you in a short form sometimes you may have to go through plethora of files quickly and you have to understand many meanings you have to understand the expression and you yourself may have to express yourself through writing i know that we live in the world of digital digitalization we believe that everything is digital everything is online and we also want things to be in a very short manner concise manner i agree your point but the idea is reading skill reading comprehensions and reading enhances enhances your understanding the next point is all about greater reading capabilities impacts your marks in all three stages of the preparation because when you're going to write an essay you have to express yourself you have to know what you are writing you write you wrote a wonderful essay you have been you know writing everything you've been talking about data you've been talking about the statistics part but the result is not the desired one why that's a question for you what do you think that you are doing everything even then you are not getting the right marks or the marks you should get to crack or to become an is and you are joining other services which you don't want to 
The reason is we are not expressing ourselves. Mains examination is all about expressing yourself through writing and interview. Personality test is all about expressing yourself one to one. They are also asking you questions and you have to explain them. You have to speak about them. Whereas mains examination is that you have to keep on writing. Correct? Then share ideas to develop your opinion. Newspaper does not mean it's a wastage of time. One hour, two hour, three hour, four hour I'm investing. I don't know about the people, those who claim that newspaper can be read in 50 minutes, 60 minutes, one day. I don't know. I don't know about that. Every day's newspaper is different. Every day's newspaper is unique. Every day the news are different. So sometimes you can browse through newspaper within 10 minutes. Sometimes it can take one hour and sometimes it can take half an hour depending upon the quantum of news which is there. So guys, any questions that we are having till now, please. Any questions? So one question which I can see is by Richa. She is asking that it is very cumbersome for me to read and complete newspaper. Okay, Richa, I agree that it's a cumbersome process for you. That is why this webinar has been conducted today that how you can make this cumbersome process simplified so that for you reading newspaper is an enjoyable thing instead of something which is very boring, monotonous and burdensome. I hope it's okay, Richard, with you. Shall I proceed? Okay, let's proceed. Now, another question or something which you all are doing, even you without asking me, without me telling anything about it. YouTube is flooded, is flooded with so many, so many videos. There are so many videos about how to read newspaper, everyday newspaper analysis are coming. And also there are, long videos, short videos, they tell you make video, you, they tell you to make notes of it and so and so. And also with that, plus that's offline and online material, which you can find anywhere in the, any nook and corner of any stall, book stall or also on. There are many multiple telegram groups from where you can get those small booklets or sub, some substitutes with which you can cover your newspaper. The question is YouTube videos or other online offline material sufficient or are they substitute? to your newspaper. My clear cut answer, I am very much clear about it is no, they are not. And I think I'm encountering one another question. The question says that, which is the best newspaper to read? So I will say that the best newspaper to read will be for you, the Hindu or the Indian Express. There are many newspapers, there are many good new, uh, newspapers which are there. Times of India is also one of them and you can name them. good newspapers, good publishing houses are there. But we have to see the newspaper. We have to zero down our research to that newspaper, which is going to suffice our preparation, which is important and significant. And also it is suitable for my preparation, for my thing, not for somebody else. If your newspaper is containing more of the political masala, more of the fashion uh, news or more of the other news, which is good in general, but it is detrimental for your preparation because you're wasting your time reading that stuff, then there is no point. The Hindu newspaper or the Indian Express uh, newspaper, I recommend, personally I recommend, I, I used to read these two, these two newspapers and many of you go through that, so I personally recommend that. Getting back to the point which we were discussing, YouTube videos. YouTube videos will make you hopping from one material to the another. You'll watch one video, you're watching it, and you may get bored, or you may get a call, even, even if you're watching through your phone, you will you may get, may get call and you start talking to the person. And also, it is a sort of distraction. Videos, offline online material, small booklets can be a supplementation to the reading newspaper. They cannot be substitute or you cannot replace it with newspaper. When you read something, when you sit, when you start reading anything, your brain would go to multiple sites. Bohut sare thoughts aayenge. You'll get multiple thoughts in your mind. It is very difficult to concentrate and it's very easy to watch any video. It's very easy to watch any analysis. That's why, why more people watch videos and less people read newspaper. It is the level of Comfortability. I'm more comfortable watching a video. I'm very much, you know, in a position of hindrance. I'm not able to read newspaper. 
increased level of concentration when you start reading something when you bring your mind under control this concentration is going to help you when you're going to sit for your mains examination one day you're going to have two examination in a one single day there will be two papers three three hours you have to write in total six hours you have to write how will you do that concentration is must for writing main examination and also for your preparation so watch videos and stick to one channel don't keep on changing the channels don't listen to so many of your friends and also stick to one resource stick to one thing because multiple people few people will tell you that you should go this and other people will tell you do this then what will happen there will be no your own insight you'll be confused you'll be perplexed should i do this or should i not i don't do this oh i am right doing this now you have chosen one path and you have watched some video with the in that video it's been said that it's boring and you will leave it with it don't do that correct and it also gives you insight about interlinking the current affairs part with the static part current affairs something which is changing dynamic very difficult to handle static part which is there as it is right we are going to discuss about what is static part and the current affairs part and how to interlink it interlink them in our coming webinars or maybe in our facebook live and youtube sessions but for the while this newspaper gives you information about how to interlink for example these days the biggest topic going on is cap citizenship amendment bill citizenship is a part of polity static but the dynamism associated with it the changes associated with it is the part of current affairs dynamism is very difficult to handle something i'm sorry something which is changing on a regular basis is very difficult to handle then we have an individual growth and integrated opinion and complete thinking process do you know what is an idea today you got an idea and towards the end of the day that idea would be gone but your opinion is different it is something which is deeply embedded in your mind what do you think what do you think that how should somebody be treated which section of society should you should be treated and that is why there is ethics integrity and aptitude because it is all about reshaping our opinion what is right and what is wrong so an idea is like something which can be changed whereas opinion in something just build through build through reading understanding observation and understanding the view point how will you enhance your own opinion when you will be reading newspaper you will say how it is not going to happen within 15 days 20 days 30 days time it is not a medicine it is an exercise regular exercise the complete journey of upsc the complete process of upsc is all about a regular journey regular journey of learning and unlearning the insignificant things of your life prioritizing yourself this is something which is very important now you started off your day first you thought i'll i'll go with my daily you know i'll i'll dress up myself i'll do this and that then you did your breakfast and then you started watching you took up your phone and you started watching you know the video then blah 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 whatsapp you checked your snapchat group you did that and now it's 2 o'clock at 2 o'clock you feel oh it's very drowsy i should sleep for one hour after one hour you woke up you had tea and then you are planning to pick the book up you have lost the complete momentum of the day you are far behind the time are you going to adopt this sort of approach do you want to have this sort of approach it's going to kill you within your preparation so you have to be very disciplined you have to have a time table through which you will work guys please any questions if we have let's make this session to be very interactive any questions okay one question i'm getting from priyanka priyanka is saying that she is not able to stick to the time table priyanka this will come through practice this is something which cannot happen within a day it will come one by one and your time table should also be rational it should not happen that your time table in itself is so bulky that you are not even able to handle that right 
so it should be according to your own understanding six hours a day you want to study you want to study seven hours a day depending upon are you working are you in some college or you're free so any questions please i'm waiting for questions guys more questions the more the number of questions will come more i'll be in a position to take care of you no questions no more questions in fact okay so the another thing is are then videos booklets etc etc useless you think like that you really think that reading uh, booklets small booklets or videos they are useless no they are not nothing is useless just believe one thing nothing is useless and nothing is the best everything is depending upon how you are utilizing this universe or the information around you you cannot say is useless at no given point of time i can say watching youtube video is useless no but what is your level of preparation and what you should do which is more important if you are spoiling your day if you are not reading newspaper and you were only and only hooking up yourself to one video and you're believing that this video will suffice everything of mine or i'll cover complete newspaper 30 days newspaper through some small booklet then these things are going to help you not not at all but if you know first two hours of the day i have to dedicate to newspaper and then i would proceed towards the next step of learning something which i don't know i did not understand about anything about gap then i'll watch this video so that i can have some understanding and then this is an integrated approach which is not a burdensome approach pehle main newspaper padhu fir main video dekhu just watch the video of that particular topic read something about that particular thing which you do not know why do you be, why will you be investing your time in something which you already know right good more questions uh, how to make notes of newspaper okay so this is something which we'll discuss towards the end of the webinar am i okay with it shall i proceed i assume that you are you guys are you know rest of you are understanding everything so now i have brought up in front of you this today's newspaper which is the hindu the hindu fine and you see that anti cap protest raged through assam to killed in police firing this is something which you cannot skip you have to just read it through then iip shrinks again inflation accelerates important newspaper important part of the news today Braving winter storms, Britain's vote in divisive Brexit election. Now, most of you may not be knowing about what is Brexit, what is this election all about, and how things are proceeding with it. Maybe you have started preparing for UPSC today. I think there is some question. Maybe you feel that. So, Maryam Khalid has one question: Which sections of the newspaper will help us to effectively prepare better for the exams? so mariam i am just going to talk about that thing only that which sections of the newspaper this is something to on to which i am now right just give me some time i'll be there okay now this information you may not have any understanding of it you may not be knowing about it so you can watch a video of that but moving i'll talk about it you can see about this information this is something iip shrinks again inflation accelerates worrying numbers why retail inflation now retail inflation the concept is static but it is rising or it is falling is a current dynamism now this information you can keep it with you as it is as a important point as a newspaper information in itself highlight it and keep it there with you retail information it rose to 5.54% in november while industrial activity contracted by the third consecutive month in october by minus 3.8% correct right? 
so guys i want you to give me the answer of the question that what is the meaning of retail inflation i'll give you some 30 seconds and you have to discuss about it and i am going to give you 30 seconds like an examination format so please try to answer this question what is the meaning of retail inflation inflation is something a price rise right so prices are rising i am hope we are getting to the right things in there and why inflation is worrying some sometimes inflation is good sometimes it's bad but this inflation is not good so you have to make a note like that industrial activity manufacturing is contracting when manufacturing manufacturing is going to contract what will going to happen there is going to be few jobs more unemployment understand things in that manner don't try to complicate each and everything don't go by word by word just simplify the things and understand everything in a very easy manner so this is worrying numbers you can keep it with you and this is a map which is very important this is separately i have put it consumer price index easily you can see and index of industrial production again easily you can understand and this ecg sort of thing is showing you that how much fluctuation are we having in our economy i hope things are getting clear to us am i right to proceed with okay now another thing is braving winter storms britain's vote in divisive brexit election winter storms geographical part of britain where is it situated and brexit election now for this you may have to watch a video you can take the help of it but this is an important international relations related news and guys one thing we have come up with this indian economy book so this book in itself has been written by shri s shriram and also by manish kumar and rohit deojha both of them are bureaucrats mr manish kumar is an is officer whereas mr rohit is an irs officer and mr shriram he has spent a quite a good amount of his time in helping students to become an is officer so this is a wonderful book indian economy book that has come going to come up and it is there in the market you can go and purchase it why i am i saying that you need to buy this book is because it is going to cover each and every topic a small one a large one within a very simplified manner it is also going to talk about it's going to give you insight about your chapter 1 as you can see chapter 1 is talking about the basics then economic growth and its measures and also there is going to be a detailed discussion of the recent nobel prize in economy everything is been discussed in detail everything every part so if you read this book nothing is going to be missed out when you read this book the information like this brexit elections and how it is going to impact our indian economy our economy is going to be impacted everything has been discussed over right any questions guys I hope we are getting something. Okay, now this page is the most dreaded pages of the Hindu newspaper. Editorial, padna hai. Editorial, padna hai. Editorial, padna hai. What is an editorial? Editorial is an article written by the editor of the newspaper. These two are the editorials. Just give me a moment so that I can highlight. Okay, now. this is something which is an editorial because these two are written by the editor of the newspaper himself or herself whereas this complete page is an editorial page and this is an open page where you and i can also contribute and we can also contribute if we have that acumen of expressing ourselves that we can also start writing in these two sections 
But if we have that capability, that knowledge, that understanding of the language, that expression, then we can also start writing over here. Now, every Friday in the Hindu newspaper, a topic has been discussed in a three-layered manner. Three-layered manner means that there is a conflict. Yes, no, complicated. Because whenever, the, as you can see, should the creamy layer norm be extended to STs and SCs? What is creamy layer? You should be knowing about it. It was in news. And also when you read newspaper, sometimes within a paragraph, the answer has been written. What is creamy layer? The background of it, it's been discussed. Now, these two pages are basically the opinion based pages. So you should know the news first, then only you can go to the opinion. You hardly know the news. You hardly know what is creamy layer. What was it? How it happened? And then suddenly you are reading the opinion part. Your preparation is going to fall flat. Now you remember if you watch Game of Thrones or you watch, uh, watch Sacred Games, every time you used to be very consistent. The Crown, all the Netflix series, I'm naming them. So we used to be very consistent. It, it used to be like an addiction. But if you're going to watch season three directly without knowing anything about the season one, you will have no interest. Why? The backward linkage is missing. You hardly know anything about. It. You hardly know about secularism you don't know about what our country is what our preamble is talking about and suddenly you have started reading about citizenship amendment bill and without you know seeing the other pages quickly you are coming to these two pages what you what is going to happen you also know you will be discouraged you will feel i am not in a position i don't understand newspaper so it will become very boring for you so the first and foremost thing is that you have to be consistent persistent in me reading newspaper the second thing is that you have to do certain things in order to understand the backward linkages for example if you don't understand one topic try to read it from somewhere but i can assure you that if you see the view part and the opinion part in tandem things will be crystal clear to you within 30 days time provided you read things you have to stick to it kind of like a diet then after 30 days you can talk to me Right? Any questions if we have? Miss Mariam, I think that this, this is something which is clear to you. Zakir Ali, okay. Is there a specific way to read and store the information from editorial pages? Yes, Zakir, you can do that by making notes of it. You can make your handwritten notes or you can simply make the cut and paste clippings as I have discussed about the inflation point, IIP we have discussed. and. That is the best way to store information because when you, the things are in your mind, then you only need to do the revision. But I suggest that you should know what is creamy layer. Great Zakir. Mariam, I'm, am I okay to you? Is things getting clear to you? Mariam Khalid. Good. Okay, fine. Also, if you see, this is something which is known as notebook part. We have the habit, some of us, not all of us, but some of us, we have the habit of writing down our things. We make journals, we make our dailies. I did this, I met him, I met her, we were together, we went there. You know, it's like a diary that we form. So notebook talks about a narrative. What is a narrative? When you speak about your own experience, when you say, I went there, I did this, I was having fun, that means it's a narrative. So it's more subjective. This is something which you can safely skip. Correct? And also in these two pages, you have to chisel out. You have to have an understanding, which is the important part. For example, in today's newspaper, this is something which you can leave. You can just give a cursory glance. Cursory is like this. Cursor, can you see the cursor? Quick. And over here, an exoneration or in the name of majority or about the water planning failures. This is something which you have to see. Water scarcity in our country is becoming the talk of the town. It's a buzzword. From a water plenty country, we are becoming water stressed and then we are becoming water scarce. The country, the states like Himachal Pradesh 
and the areas like Shimla, even in Arunachal Pradesh, we are witnessing the water scarcity. Why? Why drinking water is not so easily available? You leave about with her, you leave about Latur, or you leave about those areas where there is desert or where there is desertification. What about all those things, all those areas where there's plenty of water? That means the quality of drinking water is deteriorating. So you will get some insight from here. Okay, so uh, Zakir is saying, how much time daily should I read a newspaper, including making notes? Zakir, I think I discussed about it just at the beginning that newspaper reading cannot be confined into some I cannot say, I mean, I, I personally cannot say that you have to read it for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but I can surely say this thing that you have to be very, very critical and vigilant when you are reading newspaper. It may take 15 minutes someday, another day it can take one hour, another day it can be 25 minutes. But I cannot say it should take like this, it should take not take like this because it is not something which is going to have a set pattern. For example, in today's newspaper, it will hardly take 15 minutes for you to go through. But if you are well versed with the previous day's newspaper as well. Right? All okay? Shall I proceed? Guys, please let me know. I think I'm very much pretty clear on my points. Zakir, Mariam, Harsh, Priyanka. Okay. I'll be proceeding then. I'll be assuming it to be a yes from you people. I think there is some glitch. Wait a second. So whenever we read or we understand things like that, I'm sorry that for this, uh, some sort of thing that has happened, erase all drawings, let's erase the drawing. Okay. Okay, let's take question first. Oh, all okay, Zakir, that's great, good. You know, everything, every way of expressing is different and unique. My expression is different from yours, yours can be different from mine. What you can make from this is these are the language of cartoons. Constitution has been wrapped up. It's been gagged. It's been silenced. Secularism has been cut. It's been guillotined. And somebody is saying, I'm not going to name, paper always beats rock. Okay. Now, some of you with perspective of citizenship amendment bill, some of you will say that it's a great, very right, Zakir, you're very right about it. Some of you will say citizenship amendment bill is fine. Somebody will say it's not. You guys will have your own varied interest and varied areas of understanding. But when you read your paper, and when you write anything in the examination hall, always keep one thing in your mind. You have to leave all the political masala or whatever you have you know, conceived, you have learned from the outside surroundings, whatever is against constitution, you have to leave that. You have to always speak in terms of polity, Indian polity and governance and constitution. You will not write anything which is against it. I hope I'm clear with this point. So don't get carried away by the emotions, you know, the what the media is saying, what people are saying, and what is even your own viewpoint for that matter. But when you are a bureaucrat, when you are a civil servant, when you are somebody who is working for the country, it's, I'm not saying that you will not have your own opinion. I'm not saying not to be critique of the government, but I'm saying not to follow the bandwagon, not to follow what others are saying. Correct? So again, we have a question. Okay, so Zakir is saying, at times I do not like the leftist view in the guest writing. How should I take the information piece? So Zakir, you have to see, are you a leftist or a rightist? It is not going to matter at all. But you have to take an opinion part from them. Take them as an opinion. 
let's say i am leftist you are rightist i am saying something you are saying something i am this is known as thesis antithesis and then then there is synthesis so one point is coming when it is a debate one point is coming another has been countered by that then they are doing this counter and encounter and then final result will come up try to take the best of it oh yeah, they are also right about it it is not something which is wrong oh they are also right about it create the balance once you have created that balance express that balance in your answer you have to adopt a via media you cannot falter you cannot fumble you cannot take side this is something i can go this i can go that life is not about taking sides in life you can take you can be a very staunch supporter of something you can be also somebody who does not want to do some things but when you are an is officer when you are somebody who is working for the welfare of the people so we the people of india do hereby adopt and enact and give to ourselves this constitution should be there always in your mind i want you to distract yourself cut yourself from the political masala news okay thank you zakir i think all of us can be more you know interactive everything is going great opinion does not mean yes you are you uh, zakir is saying but ma'am at the paper i am supposed to write with an opinion yes you have to write an opinion you should have an opinion what do you think uh, what do you think about a person who has no opinion what do you think of that person what do you imagine of somebody who is who is having no thinking you generally you know make the people you say say this person has no thinking of his own is a question of person opinion it's good to have a opinion it's good to have an understanding of certain things it's always wise to think it is always wise to know but your opinion should be your own and it should not reflect something which is mentioned against the constitution now i am having this opinion that girls should not be given the freedom i am a strong i'm having this opinion i'm assuming it i'm giving you an example of having an opinion i feel that girls should not be given freedom they should not go out for work they should not be taught they should not be educated and they should be you know getting married and having kids and they should be confined to household this is my opinion people doing honor killing people going for khap panchayat they are also having some opinion but is that opinion right how will you which yardstick will you use to gauge that that is the fundamental right that is the rights given by the constitution to us then humanity will come i tell you don't start thinking of humanity because everybody is thinking about humanity on a different level i can think of humanity on my own own lifestyle on my own social values you will think of humanity on your own social values but constitution the law of the land is something which especially of our country is something which is the mixture of all right that is why i'm saying please focus on indian polity not on not on something which has been carried away by emotions emotions can be right they can be wrong i'm not saying emotions are wrong but they can be right for me and wrong for the other so if i my parents would not have given me the education i would not have been sitting in front of you if my parents would have would have been of the opinion that we should not uh, teach our daughter she should be sitting at home then i would not have been there with you today i would have been somewhere you know god was where would i have been you would not have been knowing me as sherry is saying senior editor working in pearson and even n number of colleagues those who are working with me right i think i am very much fair about opinion all of us okay let's proceed now this is another information india faces a diplomatic challenge bangladesh and afghanistan ties shinzo abe visit under a cloud citizenship amendment bill is going to have multiple impact it is going to have a n number of impact on our lives on our society on our relationship with bangladesh and also with other muslim countries how things will be proceed how there will be new things that are going to come up this is something that you have to read i hope you guys are looking at your newspaper and whenever you do anything i suggest you always carry carry with you which is atlas 
Then this is something very simple news. Domestic air passenger traffic grows 11% in November. 11%. So manufacturing is shrinking. We have seen that. But domestic air passenger traffic is increasing. Are they contradictory? Service sector is increasing. This means. But manufacturing is decreasing. Retail inflation is increasing. Something is problematic with respect to industrial activity and output. This is something which we need to interlink. This is how we have to understand the newspaper. Not by reading it, you know, keeping it in front of you. This is an opinion. This is how you have to think. You have to start thinking. You cannot sit, you know, you cannot just have it one thing, one thought about one thing. You have to think. Correct? So the point is, service sector is taking off. As you can see, again, it is, I would say, a cut and paste clipping in front of you. Service sector is taking off. Total aircraft with commercial airlines, more and more people are going out, more service sector. That means hospitality will grow. But industrial activity is growing, going down and inflation is rising. Indian economy. Correct? Any questions? I'll wait. Any questions? Mariam, Ali, Amit, Vipin, Priyanka, Nitin. All of us. Quick. Zakir, you're quiet for a long period now. Okay, I think it's fine with everyone. We can easily go ahead. Good to go. Oh, this is a question of the century. Should we be making notes of newspaper? So again, you will say it's a futile exercise. Yes, it is. It is a very futile exercise. But making notes of every page, every word is a futile exercise and it is blunder. It is something which is, I will never approve of it. But I will say you one thing. Start, start just making small notes of those things which you do not know. Not of each and everything. Not of everything what you read. Everything what you see from any book or newspaper. Even if you're reading your NCRTs, you're reading some books. Even if you're reading this book, don't make notes of it. But what is the meaning of making notes? If you don't understand one point, you'll try to find out. Then make synchronized notes of it. Not all things should be done at one given point of time. What will happen? You will be like confused. It will be a riddle for you. You won't be able to concentrate because you'll be busy making notes with, you know, red colored pen, highlighting it with some highlighter. Don't do this. Don't waste your time in doing such stuff. Stay focused. And it is the most difficult thing to do in your life is to stay focused, to concentrate. It is very, very difficult to control your mind because your mind, it, you know, it uh, runs like a wild horse. You cannot control it. The more you try to control it, the more it would try to go away. So how would you bring back your energy and how would you try to work on yourself? It is all by prioritizing your goals that I have to become an IS officer. So your inner in, you know, uh, motivation will come from yourself, not by watching external videos. That motivation will come from within. I hope we are getting something. Guys, if you don't know how to ask me a question, somebody is writing, there's a chat box given. You just have to type your question there. I think many of you are confused about how to uh, ask me a question. Just there is a uh, chat box. You have to go there. And you can simply ask me a type of question and I'll answer. It's that easy. Right? And notes should not be themselves newspapers. They should not be very bulky, small, small show, very small to the point, crisp notes. And also, they should be very helpful at the time of the revision. How notes can be used for essays and GS papers? Just see that this information is there in front of you. I have just cut it down and pasted it. 
write it down gs paper one useful for essay and now you will say how will i come to know if you had attended our previous webinar and discussed about how you can become an is officer within one year and in first attempt i've talked about it so for that matter you have to read your newspaper religiously but before getting on to newspaper and before getting on to the beginning of the upsc preparation guys try to see the syllabus you will come to know okay i know history i have good taste in geography i can do better with chemistry i can do better with you know maybe quality part or i am zero in geography i don't understand at all physical geography i don't understand how people are saying that mount everest or the mountain complete range the himalayas are still rising how they are growing so these things will come to you come to clarity to you once you go through your what syllabus keep a hawk eye on previous year's questions always 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 it's my cliche it's my repeated thing to talk about keep keep and hawk eye on your previous year's question how the questions are being asked how you will proceed with it and how you will work with it ma'am any email address to show you my essay that i have written just some opinion of yours so guys that's great my email id i can type it's sherry dot sing at the rate pearson dot com i hope you are getting my message okay so just send me then the email id i have sent you just send your uh, essay any answer Or whatever you have chosen to write, you just send it to me. Test more, test, test, test. You will say when I have not studied anything, when I don't know about anything, how can I test? Okay. Now this is a tricky part. That's a right valid question. When you are not going for any coaching, when you are not understanding anything, how can you be so sure of testing? So testing is not always about winning. Testing is all about knowing where you are today, where you are, and tomorrow where you have to go. testing is not about winning that you have to score this these many marks you have to you know get so many of the marks no test means test understanding i know this i don't know this and it is not about these guys comparing with who has scored what first of all start taking test in a relaxed manner then backtrack every question try to see why you have committed this question right and why wrong for right ones you will definitely ignore but for wrong ones you have to see but i suggest you go for the both right one and wrong one try to analyze the difference and why is it right and why is it wrong back tracking it move i hope things are helping us at all all the best it's the important thing that i can say any questions guys now it's the time a question hour we can have any questions if you have still we have some 5 minutes with us to go okay we are getting questions that's good thank you zakir so nice of you if you are saying me that you are the best mentor you have ever come across thank you so nice of you what about others guys i mean are you guys getting some information we have mariam anita i think there are other people are also there those who i am not able to see okay raise questions please understand that whenever you start your preparation starting preparation is easy but keeping yourself motivated throughout is the most difficult task most difficult task don't undermine my sentence when i'm saying it's the most difficult task because it is you will feel why you are within the preparation why am i doing this when others are enjoying their lives when others are going out hanging out with the friends people are having fun 
I am confined to my room and every day I'm doing the same stuff. For what? I am also working and even then I'm not getting a desired result. For what? These types of questions will come to your mind. They will bang your the door of your brain again and again. And there will be certain days when you will be not in your state of mind, when you will feel, I think I should leave the preparation. I think I should get away from this. I think I should go away from this. I think I should deviate. But that is the time when you will get back to yourself and you will be you will be there where you want to be when you have your own motivation. So Maria, you have given me, an, given me a question. Are there any other strategies that will help us to get a cutting edge over others while preparing for the exam? Yes, the best strategy, the Hindu newspaper. And the question is also there that Indian Express instead of the Hindu, who has said this question? Zakir, I think the Hindu is the best you can go. Okay, so I was talking about Mariam's questions first that um, are there any other strategies that will help us? Strategy is one. Strategy will always remain yours. Mariam's strategy will be Mariam's. It cannot become Sherry's. It cannot become any others. So strategy you have to create for yourself. Don't follow other people's strategy and one strategy will be enough. The Actions taken within a strategy will be different. The actions are like, yes, you will become an, F an IS officer. Definitely, I'll talk about it. Definitely, if you know what is the right approach, you have to be consistent. It's not like that two, three days you have studied everything and you are sleeping for four, five days. Seven days, three days you have studied like anything. Din ko, raat ko, 12 hours, 18 hours, you're trying to make some world record and within a rest of the four days, baut pad liya, yaar, baut pad liya, baut bore ho what do you mean by bore ho gaye? And what do you mean by students generally say, padne ka man nahi hai. Kyun? Then you should not be preparing for it if you don't want to study. You should do something else in your life. Do something else if you don't want to study. But when you have taken your decision that you want to become an IS officer and you are doing certain things, blah, 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 things. And then you are saying that I don't want to become, a, I don't want to read. I don't feel like, feel like studying. Then it is pathetic. Losing your motivation because of you is the worst thing to do. Self-doubt is another thing. Never ever in your life doubt your integrity, doubt yourself. Guilt is a wasted emotion. Today you have wasted your time. Leave today, work for tomorrow. Don't think I wasted time yesterday, day before yesterday. I went. You will be stuck and you'll be losing your energy today. Come to today's point. This is the time which you have. Be present. Correct? I hope, Mariam, this is going to work because everybody is studying. Books are there. Everything is there around you. What is the difference between is making between somebody who is successful and who is not? And always keep one thing in your mind. It is not end of the day. Okay, so Zakir is saying, is IAS is worth the effort we put in? So he is saying that becoming an IAS officer is so much worthy or is it so prestigious that we are working so much hard for it. Is it so much worth or is it so fruitful to work for becoming a nice? I think uh, you're welcome, Mariam. I think, Zakir, it depends upon you. What do you want in your life? The worth is dependent on that. If you want to become something else, the worth will be different. The effort will be different. The adventure will be different. The outcomes will be different. But if you want to become an IS, I would say yes. This examination, this service and complete UPSC is a great opportunity for you to make change in the lives of the millions. People, they crib, they sulk. They always need one option for them, one chance for them to make a change in their own lives. But once you join the civil services, you get the opportunity. You sit at a pedestal from where you can help the people. I don't know and I also know that I know it's a confusing statement. I don't know and I also know. I don't know why people take the services as something which is for pomp and gusto, for showing people. Whereas I know that this service is all about civil service, civil servants, not that you're going to become king or something like that. 
I hope Zakir, this question is clear to you. And one question is, is there a specific way to read the read? And I think it's been done from editorial pages. I think I have done this, handled this question. I'm expecting more amount of questions and intelligent questions. And today it's a discussion. Another question is by Priyanka. Okay, Priyanka. Priyanka is asking that, ma'am, I waste uh, time in in making notes and reading newspaper. I hope Priyanka, today's webinar will be of some help to you, if not much. So we'll make an, another webinar and you can, you know, sherry.singh at the rate person.com is my email ID where you can connect with me one to one session we can have. So how newspapers can help you with UPSC preparation? Newspaper is something which is bedrock of your complete preparation. Even in prelims, this year prelims, you would have witnessed that the questions were like completely taken from current affairs and also for the main examination, everything is current. -related. So if it is about forestry, the question will come about compensatory afforestation program. Compensatory afforestation program was in news. Was in news would refer to it was in the newspaper. Newspaper is such a document. It's such a piece of information which is coming to your doorsteps every day. Now, if you're going to ignore it with your foot, if you're saying, oh, I don't want to read this, then that's your approach. I will not read it. Again, we have, uh, you know, analyzed today and we have understood well, what are the perils of not reading newspaper? We have completely understood that. And what are the benefits of reading newspaper? What are the benefits of knowing something? And how can you say that the com one, this complete compilation, of 30 days is going to help you. Bit by bit, one information came today. One, two, three, four, five, six, then it went to 30. So just one magic wand or something, a small booklet is not going to suffice. You are definitely going to miss out on very important newspaper, newspaper points. And also it is not going to complete your complete current affairs. You leave many important segments automatically and your brain will be, you know, overloaded with only current affairs. You're trying to complete it, complete it, complete it. Because you will be also in a hurry to complete this small booklet because the next month's booklet will also be around the corner. What if baby steps, one by one, one by one, we are reading, we are understanding. Today, I did not understand something. Tomorrow, I will understand. And also, if you skip today's newspaper, don't feel worried about it that tomorrow you're not going to do. Do tomorrow's first now. Today's 13th, you have skipped 12th newspaper. That is yesterday. Don't start from 12th newspaper, start from 13th. And then just give a bird's eye view to 12th, uh, 12th December newspaper. Right? Priyanka, I'm, I hope I'm making some sense to all of us. And thank you guys for joining the webinar. You guys were a great audience, great questions and great discussions that we have. And guys, I would suggest to go to our website where there are blogs that we have written and also we have another book of ancient indian history the link is also going to be there over uh, that section just go through that book it's a four colored book that we have come up and towards the end of every chapter we have discussed about the right approach how to handle the questions so i would suggest you to go through that just give a cursory view to that book that's a wonderful book and it's also going to help you in your main examination i hope it's a lovely weekend coming. So have fun and have a Merry Christmas in advance. And we'll meet once again before newspaper. And next webinar is going to be on 27th of December, 2019. That's why I'm not saying you Happy New Year. We'll talk about it New Year. And today, wish you a very happy Merry Christmas in advance. Thank you and all the best. Bye-bye.